Hi, happy Friday. I'm halfway through my day and I thought I'd stop and uh, what I have on my mind today uh, involves mudras. Mudra is a fancy word for hand positions. The most uh, neutral hand position is two fingers touching your thumb. So, you know, that's a good neutral thing if you don't know what's going on that you want to do it. There, there is a lot to it and every chakra has a different mudra that's associated with it and I'm not up on that as much as uh, how you do the mudras for the Merkaba light activation and that is a very short but powerful meditation that um, I've been doing since February. I'm not really qualified to teach it yet but I decided what would be good is if I started teaching elements of it and one of the elements of it involves the mudras of this being a breath cycle, this being a breath cycle, this being a breath cycle, pinky, that's four, five, you start over again, and six. So it's a six thing again. Remember the six archangels and the six directions that represent space before there was light of the cube, north, south, east, west, up and down. If you have the coordinates of that you can put an exact point on anything inside a sphere with six elements and they correspond to the six magnetic lines that emanate from our pineal gland that we are trying to activate when we meditate so in the beginning of the Herkaba meditation there's a lot more to it than I'm going to give you. I'm going to skip the imagery and I'm going to ask you to just concentrate on a Star of David, which is a six pointed. There's a triangle this way. Wait, I have it upside down. There's a triangle. No, I was right. Triangle this way around your body and then another one below your body. If you put the two triangles together, you got a six pointed star, the Star of David. I just want you to see the Star of David in what we call the color of lightning, which is a white light. Can be gray, can be a little rose color, that's up to you. It's kind of a mood thing, but color of lightning. And I just want you to put that Star of David in your mind and we'll work, we'll add the imagery to it later. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in, uh, in and out, an in, in, in breath and an out breath on each one of these six things. We're gonna picture the Star of David. The transition is a move with your eyes and you breathe in, you breathe out, you picture the Star of David, and then you look down and in. It's not totally cross-eyed, but you just look like you're trying to see something on the floor in front of you. And then you look down and up, and then you pulse. So, Star of David in your mind, color of lightning. I don't know why I'm holding my hands up like that, but two fingers together, first one, that represents East, south, west, north, the Christ grid, and the 5D crystalline grid, the sky and the earth, up and down. We'll say the archangels later, but it you know kind of ties to that a little bit in the fact that we're working in the power of six here. So we're going to breathe in and out on the um, we're not doing it yet I'm still demonstrating breathe in and out star of David we'll do it slower than that you look down you look up and pulse switch fingers in out look down but it's a it's a pointed look in front of you you'll, you'll get used to it it's just the really light tension you're not crossing your eyes but you're looking like right here down up pulse and then you switch to the next one. <clears throat> when you do the pulse, put the sound of an old fashioned chain on a light bulb, Chicka. and you turn off the Star of David. Switch fingers, start again, look down, look up, turn off the light. This is how we reset the six magnetic lines to the archangels, the directions from your pineal gland. We are programming, kind of. But anyway, the Star of David goes much 
much farther back into history than uh, Judaism or the Old Testament, and it really is a tetrahedron, which is a, three, a pyramid with three sides, and we'll get to it in 3D soon enough. But right now, just see a two-dimensional Star of David because a Star of David has six points. We are activating six things to go the six directions of the earth, the six archangels we did yesterday, and you are learning the mudras and how to pulse your eyes and turn off the light between them. After that, I'm gonna take you through some elements we've done already, sedative breathing, a quick tune-up of the chakras, that's the Pisces, and a laying out of the psychic surgery terrain. Here we go. We are going to set ourselves, set your breath. We are setting our breath for e even Steven. Breathe in and breathe out. It's called pranic breathing. Very deeply and even. Here we go on our first one. Fingers, first finger and thumb. Breathe in and see the star of David in bright light. Breathe out through your mouth, nice and easy. Open your eyes, look down, look up, and pulse. Turn out the light, switch fingers. Next one. Second finger. Breathe in on the six-pointed star. Color of lightning. And breathe out on the same image. It gets brighter and brighter, stays the same size, but brighter, more intense. Your eyes look at something in front of you, above you, and pulse. The star goes out. Here we go, third finger. Breathe in, Star of David. Breathe out, down in front of you, up, and pulse. One more pinky in this. Breathe in, breathe out with the star, getting more intense and brighter. Look in front of you, look up, and pulse. Remember to turn off the light. Light comes back on as you repeat the first finger, the number five magnetic line. Breathing out, star of David, look in front of you, look up, and pulse. This is last one, six. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look down in front of you. Look up, and I'll get the sound right. ka -chink. And we're done. Now put your fingers two together like that. We're just going to do some uneven sedative breathing. Here it is, four in, eight out. And out. Good, four in, eight out. Great, let's go four in, 12 out. Breathe out. Breathe in four, 12 out. Here we go out. Good, four and 16. 16. Push out, keep going, out, 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 and four and 16 again. Keep going, out, 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 feel the bird, yes. Four and 20 twice, that was four in and 20 out.
go and push. <laughs> One more. Twenty. One more twenty. I'm lost. <laughs> I guess that's what you do is you, you do that exercise until you can't count anymore. <laughs> All right, so uh, doesn't have a lot of imagery to it. I think we should repeat the first part now that we did the set of breathing, and I'll try to make it more fluid as far as just I'm just going to do it without trying to explain anything. So we're going to take in between breaths. We'll switch the fingers six times and the eyes down, up, and pulse with a light switch that turns it off, changes between fingers. Here we go. Breathe in. Thumb and first finger. Breathe out. Look down. Look up. And pulse. Next finger. Breathe in. Breathe out. Look down. Look up. And pulse. With the ka-ching of changing the light on and off. Breathe in, breathe out, look down, look up, pulse. Pinky and thumb, in and out, look down, look up, pulse. First finger and thumb, breathe in. Breathe out, down, look up, pulse, last one, breathe in, breathe out, look down, look up, and pulse. Two fingers together while I talk. Just time to take a little ride around our chakras. It's not a full tune up, just a ride. So we've got the red sacral root chakra, all your fears to the right. We've got the orange, your creativity, your sexuality, your imagination behind your belly button to the left. Spin a crazy eight around the two of them in contrary motion and make sure you understand which way that contrary motion is flowing. Get it right. It's like a clock facing you. Next one up. Yellow. Solar plexus in the middle of your chest to the right. It's your sun. It's your energy. To the right with your yellow. To the left with your orange, to the right with your red. Now just spin it. Red, orange, yellow, orange, red. And now just ride the rails. Contrary motion, like a belt going through an engine of light. Get up to the heart chakra in the middle of the chest. It's green. It's spinning to the left. It is counterclockwise, feminine, magnetic energy that we live for in your heart. Spin it to the left. Go down one to the yellow to the right. Go down one with the orange to the left and go down one with the red to the right. Here we go. Red, orange, yellow, green, yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, orange, yellow, orange, red. And relax a second. Feel the difference between your shoulders and down, and your neck and up. We're building your radio tower. Your magnetic lines have been activated in your head. 
Let's connect. Blue light in your throat goes to the right. Your truth, your sky, illumination, how you speak. Put it in line. To the right with the light blue in the middle of your throat. To the left with the green in your heart, chest area. To the right with the yellow in your rib cage. To the orange, or to the left of the orange in your belly, and down in the V cradle of your pelvis is the root chakra going to the right. Here we go. Right to the red, red to the right, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, green, yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, green, yellow, orange, red. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting there. I'm getting better. You got to admit, but please try to do those on your own. We're coming up to third eye. Blue to the left. Spin it. Dark blue in the middle of your forehead. Your optical hardware that needs the light that you are pouring in it right now. It is partying hard on that light. It is having a little field day. It is spraying water back at you. It is saying, howdy doody, it's Friday. Anyway, to the left with the dark blue in the middle of your forehead. To the right with the light blue in your throat. To the left with the heart green. To the right with the yellow. To the left with the orange and to the right with the red. Here we go. Red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue. Light blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue. Light green, yellow, orange, red. Okay, last one. Spinning to the right is the masculine electric purple ball. Thank you very much for being here. All your spirits, your archangels have just been called with some imagery spinning to the right the purple little ball above your head your own cosmic antenna it's feeling really good with that pineal gland starting to you know come to life a little bit you got the purple to the right the dark blue in the forehead to the left throat right blue Green in the chest, heart to the left. Yellow in the rib cage to the right. Orange in the belly to the left. And red in the basement to the right. You got your colors up and down twice. Here we go. Red, spin it right, just get the ball going. Here we go. Red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, purple, dark blue, light blue, green, Yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, purple, dark blue, light blue, green, light, yellow, orange, red. Dang, I glitched in the same spot, didn't I? Well, I'll have to work on that. It's hard to talk. I do better with this when I can just do it in my head. But I'm getting better. Um, okay, we're going to do Vesica Pisces, which... Um, you don't have to sit like this the whole time by any means. My legs are numb. <laughs> so the Vesica Pisces is to put a circle from your pelvis below your belly button to a foot above your head. Spin it to the right. Got it? Big, white, round circle. Now... Foot below your feet to right above your belly button. We'll make about a perfect circle the other way, spinning to the left. Now keep that left one going and add the top one, which goes to the right. Yeah. Contrary motion. I don't know why I need to do all this stuff with my hands. <laughs> 
um, spin it. And now become focused on the Vesica Pisces where these two things cross and imagine that you either shrink down or it gets bigger. I don't care how it happens, but you're inside that space and it is quiet. And it is still. You're aware of the storm outside, but you are in this clear, quiet place for a minute where all this intense emotion cancels itself. All right, the last thing today involves just taking your mind from a place that you put it in right now and to prepare to change your psychic landscape, you have to see it. And so you have to start thinking about parts of yourself in a image in your brain. And like one of my things that brought me to meditate was a really bad depression that resurfaced and so I began the first time I did this to see my depression in like, okay, so just start with, you know, a landscape that is you. Where do you live? Are you in the West? Are you in the desert? Are you in the forest? Find a landscape that exists on earth. Yeah, it could be in the cosmos too. I don't care. There's no rules. It's yours. It's your like conscious visitation of your own dreamland. Kind of like that. But just... Realize it's in front of you when we're in this state right now and you can see things. And when I was depressed, I started to imagine my depression as like a giant black mound. It was kind of like a wart on the land. Um, you know, dark mood, it's dark, it all kind of fits together, but it really can be anything. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be a natural thing. There's just something and what, so just start by thinking about the good, good parts of yourself, something you really like about yourself that you're good at, whether it's nurturing other people or being a good parent or being a good breadwinner or uh, knowing somebody, knowing how to fix things, anything. Just pick something about yourself that's positive and give that an image first. All right, I picked the fact that I'm a good photographer and my image was a firecracker. I don't know why. So there it is. It's like a sculpture firecracker though, it's really big. And that's my point is that you gotta take something that's inside you and then make a big thing of it in the landscape. So it's surreal, it's not in proportion. Now I want you to take something that you know you'd like to get rid of about yourself. Mental habits, anxiety, depression, uh, negative self, I don't know, anything. Just anything that you don't like about yourself right now, just pick an image that involves that thing. Just let yourself look at that part of yourself because a big part of what we do when we meditate is we become aware of the part of us that is aware and that allows you to kind of back out and use some tools to shape it. So you want to think about your worst self and give it a landscape, give it an image that gets put in the landscape, like my mountain wart of depression. I'm going to update that with you right now with, in my own way. We're, we're all going to do it. So I'll come up with an image. that represents all right so then I'm gonna leave it there today we're not gonna do anything with it I just wanted you to start to think about yourself that way the way you reach your 
autonomous nervous system. Uh, auto, auto, sorry, auto, the way you, the way you reach your autonomic nervous system is through pictures. And so, if you can develop a relationship with an image of different parts of yourself, the good and the bad, we can start to go in and shape those. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.